You're tuned in to the Jersey Comic Crew. Bob Iger just stepped down as Disney CEO. What does that mean? Stay tuned. Bob Iger, yes, the man behind the mouse or next to the mouse. Iger. Uh, has Iger. officially stepped down as CEO of Disney. Yes. And uh, because of so, um, another Bob, Bob, how do you say it? Kaepernick? Uh, Chappick. Chappick. Who no, he's, used, not, he's not Colin Kaepernick. But. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Chappick, who was uh, the head of the Disney Parks Department, yes. has risen up to be the CEO. Now, first things first, the Disney stock price has plummeted because of this, and it hurts my wallet. So I'm a little upset. Oh, that's but, right. You have stock. Yeah. Oh. So... I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll it's it's Disney. But more importantly... Um, he's literally in a picture. He's hugging Baby Yoda. He'll be fine. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Once they sell those toys, it'll be... Oh, God. Once yeah. those toys come out... So our th- our question now and our topic for this is why did this happen, right? We want to know what caused him to step down. Why did he step down? What was the purpose? Um, so we know he put out a statement. He's like, you know what? I just launched a successful streaming co- uh, app. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's my time to step down. I'll still be on the board of directors and make sure everything gets taken care of in a better light and make sure things are running smooth as Bob Kaepernick. Uh, Bob Chappick. Bob Chappick. Dan- <laughs> Bob Chappick takes over and takes over the reins. So great. Um, but there, there, I mean, there's not really a lot of information other than that, right? So. That brings my question to you. Yes. Why do you think he stepped down? Oh, I can tell you immediately. As a correspondent of a business, uh, all things business, um, I'll tell you why. Because I think it's almost it's very related to sports. Mm-hmm. He's stepping down at the height of his career. Oh. But he's not stepping down fully. He's still going to be a part of the board. Yes. Of DC. Uh, DC. Oh, sorry. hey. I skipped ahead. Of Disney. Um, he's still a part of the board. He's one of the biggest shareholders. He's one of the, the yes. biggest company people. He'll still be making massive decisions involving Disney. But this is a basic, hey, look at all I did in my job. I got Marvel. I got Lucasfilm. We got Disney+. Plus. We put out a bunch of movies. Endgame made a billion plus dollars. You know, we just finished the Skywalker saga, mm-hmm. no matter how you feel about it. We finished the Skywalker saga. Um, we, we, Disney Plus, new movies. We're redoing Disney movies in live action. We're, we're. Baby Yodaing. Baby Yodaing the world. Mandalorian's a huge hit. Um, we're starting a new book series with Star Wars that's going to expand the universe. We're, we're adding more Pixar stuff. We're doing shorts with Forky Asks a Question. We're doing all this stuff. What's the question? He asks random questions and it's funny. Oh, okay. Like, they're, they're like three minutes. Erica watches them. So funny. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like he's doing all this stuff. But he's also the chief creative officer, right? Chief executive officer, CEO. So he's in the trenches. He's going to, you know, he has to show face everywhere. He has to do this. That's a big job. And the, if anything bad happens, it's on him, right? He's exactly. the target. Exactly. So this, so you're saying like he took a step back. Because he did so good. Yes. And maybe a bad storm is coming. And now he's throwing this guy under the bus. I don't think. No, I don't think it's a bad storm. I think it's, hey, I've done my time. I'm going to still get paid a lot of money to do less. I'm going to be a part of the shareholders. I'm going to be a part of this. I'm stepping away from the amount of work and the crazy stress and the crazy amount of things I'm doing. Right. He was the CEO of Disney. That involves the parks. That involves everything. That involves the merchandising. That just, you know, it's not the just holding the, companies. There's yeah, a lot of stuff. The, the Disney channels on TV and cable networks, everything, music, every all of it. So I think it's like, hey, you know, he's still a human being, might be a little burnout. Yeah, it's after, a lot of work, you know, and he just started Disney Plus just came out. In November. How long? How long was he in the role? Couple years at least. He's yeah. been a, a long time, over ten, I think. Yeah, I want to say like fifteen. Yeah, um, something we should have looked up, huh? Probably, yeah. But it's something that, like, hey, he's saying, hey, I'm not a, I'm not the CEO, but the decision making will still be in my wheelhouse. I'll still. Be I just here don't to have to do the day to day footwork that a CEO has to. He do. wants to retire. He's he's winding down. Yeah, and and he's leaving on top, right? Yeah. Like the Marvel universe is set. Star Wars is getting there. Um, you know, Disney Plus is set. Mandalorian was a hit. Positive. The direction. Disney Plus is really the big thing. Yeah, you know, besides, that's the you know, biggest the thing. Service, but you know, that's another story. I mean, that's yeah, your own no, personal opinion. Yeah. No, 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 no. So, guys, what do you? We want to know your thoughts on Bob Iger stepping down. Does this affect you at all? Do you, does this bring any nervousness or worry that Disney's ship is going to fall or sink? I think we're both in agreement here that Disney's going to be fine. Yeah. 
It's gonna, you know, still run fantastic. I think he Peyton Manning did. He won a Super Bowl, retired. You know, I think I think I, that's exactly I think, what happened here. I think he just stepped down, and he's gonna still get paid crazy money from Disney exactly. to be a part of their board and still make overall decisions because he has such a great track record. I think it's fine. And you know what? A new CEO doesn't mean you know bad. It means new no. and change, and that could be a great thing for Disney. Yeah, and Chappic ran. The parks department, yes, the Disney parks department, which means he answered to Bob Iger, yeah, as his boss. So he is, and Bob Iger was able to pick basically his own predecessor and say, "Listen, like, this guy knows what he's doing; he'll be fine, and and this, and he'll still be overseeing as a shareholder." And Bob also like helped launch the new Star Wars, you know, universe at the parks, exactly, which is and, making a ton of, money. and that's done very well. So I have yeah. complete faith in Disney. Yeah. I still think you should go buy their stock. I still think you should be on <laughs> yeah. Team Disney. Go get the tattoo of the mouse on your shoulder and right, join so the mouse army. Much. That's all much. Oh, all right. That's how democracy dies. They told me to say that. I know they did. Communist. Mouse. <laughs> all right, guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of Bob Iger stepping down and your thoughts on the future of Disney. We are excited to hear it. <laughs>